And this is Lala Madness News, and I'm out here with the Southern Players. Um, and we are out here for Glow's event. So it's all about um, giving back to the community and also working with um, minor boys or younger boys, adolescents. So um, the cause for today is actually a good cause. So it's a fundraiser, ladies and gentlemen. So um, the Southern Players are here to actually pay their contribution to the community as well by being here. So. Um, why don't you guys let people know exactly who you guys are? You can say your name separately um, if you want to, and also where to find you at. Well, we are the one and only Southern Players, and I'm your boy. I go by the name of BJ Bowman. I'm Kentra Lopez, and I'm your boy Teaser the Wild One. I'm your boy Pony. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, you guys been up to? I know you guys are not brand new. Okay, so tell us a little bit about your history as far as the beginning of the Southern Players when you guys first Ooh. got started. Ooh. How did that happen? Man, oh, it was a big bang theory. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, when, we first, when we first started out, um, we all, all four members of this one, were part of um, 12 gigs. I gave you this song, Give Me That Dunk Blood from Big Old Lady. And so we uh we departed from that okay. so we went our separate ways. But um doing a layoff, me and Contrero, we got together and uh, did a song called Deal. Deal, baby, deal. deal baby deal. And it was a sound thing like the ninety five seven to six nine was with you. And um, when we came back home, we got the beat. Because we said we needed a DJ. So B Got back with us and um, we so came. who was the DJ? You the DJ? Yeah, no, I was. He was the DJ. So I was a DJ for twelve games. We all were part of twelve games. Oh, yeah. Okay. Troy, like she said, was saying, but I was a DJ. He was a dancer, hype man, hype man, and we all when we left twelve games, these guys had actually got together and they brought me in with them and we formed the Southern Players. Mm -hmm. And yeah. we got to clarify this um, when we went. To remake uh, the song, BJ had wrote a verse and he gave it to like the Easy E NWA. Mm -hmm. We told him, right. You rap that yourself. Mm -hmm. He was like, No, nah, man, I ain't a rap. But then he fell up in there and, and he exploded. He's been rapping ever since. I was going to say, So you know that's how it starts, right? Yeah. Somebody say, Go on out there. Yeah. And then you yeah. take that yeah. little yeah. thing. <laughs> and then you end up finding out how good you are at it, yeah. right? Is that? Yeah, because that, that, that never was what I wanted to do. I always want to be the guy behind the scenes, producing the music, DJing, making sure they look good, sound good. And then they was like, nah, bro, you wrote it, you rapped it. And then we heard his voice, and it exploded. And it it was like a natural. It, it, yeah. it, it, fit, it, it fit, fit to what we was uh, preparing and producing. And we was like, come on, man, you do it. And it's funny because when we, we, we recorded um, the... The original track we recorded in, in Augusta, mm -hmm. but then we remade that original track to the Dicky Ride that you guys know today. Mm -hmm. We did it here in Atlanta. Um, my man B Rock that made that song. That's just my baby daddy. Okay. He um, he co-produced it, mm -hmm. okay. and he said he said that our vocals were some of the best vocals yeah. that he ever yeah, heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a lot of that happens. I am in a lot of studio sessions, mm -hmm. and I know that the producer can also make the song. Right. Uh, that happens, right. but that doesn't have to happen for you guys. If you guys just do your thing. Would you do your thing? And okay. And we the thing about is what we want. Yeah. How we yeah. want it. What we wanted at. And everybody we tells their own their own parts. Like y'all, the hype men. Yeah. You do the DJing and you dance. So you guys are able to kind of cohesively, nobody stepping on anybody's toes, right. no one's, you know, because sometimes that happens in groups when you have two singers or you have two that do the same thing, mm -hmm. kind of, and then it's kind of a fight over who's better at it. Nah. Oh, we're not, we're not hype men now. We're part of No, I mean from the beginning, from back then. Yeah. From back then. Yeah. Yeah. But, and that's the reason probably why you was longevity. Oh, right. Because right. made it yeah. you out well, because you didn't mesh. have those. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think what would would make us uh uh concrete is it's like we got history with each one. You yeah. know, we all grew up pretty much together. Right. Where are you guys from? Augusta, Augusta Georgia. Georgia. Come on, Augusta. I had some fun days down here. That's why you look familiar. I don't know you. No, no, no. not that fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like 
I will find you think I'm talking about. I don't know. You don't know. No, 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 when you guys create music, uh, do you see that in the music that you create as well, that you guys can see your individual parts in it? Oh, yeah. Yes. And the thing about it, even though we have individual parts, we all on the same page, the same level when it comes to the type of music we put out. Mm -hmm. We're different, mm -hmm. you know? So like you can you can hear Miami type music and it all you can tell it's from Miami. Yeah. And then you can hear Atlanta type music, Kilo, Kizzy Rock, yeah. DJ Smurf. You can tell it's Atlanta style. Right. It's that same. But we have a different style to our music, and we don't try to sound like anybody else. Mm -hmm. Originality. Not in Originality. And we're not in competition with anybody. No. We just do what makes us feel. Good. I mean, y'all been doing so long, you can't be in competition no, with nobody at this point. I mean, you're still here. You know, you guys have been out for a while. What was your like your first hit, and were you surprised that it hit? You know, Deep Red Deep Red was our first hit, uh -huh. but I wasn't surprised. I was just waiting. To win. I was gonna say, did you know like that's a hit when we recorded yeah, it, and then the or was it the backwards version? Like, okay, I'm gonna put this out, and then you like, oh, that hit. So yeah, when we came out the studio, on the car on the road. On the car on the road. I 69 said we, we, we were like at what? Two or three in the morning? Two or three in the morning. And it just started snowing. He popped the tape in. T popped the tape in. And it just started snowing. It, it just snowing. When we played the song. So three days of snow. I'm going to say here. No, yeah, it's in the dust. But I mean in Georgia. Yeah, 